Megan is missing, but what really happened? F you, Michael Goy, and f this movie. Today we're going to be watching a movie that I've seen some of you on TikTok talking about and it's called Megan is Missing. Haven't watched the trailer, haven't seen anything, so we're going to dive straight into it and hope that it doesn't make me feel very sick because it's been banned in a few countries. Ha! Huh, let's do this. Anchor Bay Entertainment. Real comfortable. I should be wearing shorts. The film, following film is based on actual events. Oh, that makes it even worse. Great. Daddy loves me. Yeah, well, mine love me too. <laughs> January 14th, 2007, 14-year-old girl Megan Stewart disappeared. Three weeks later, her best friend Amy Herman also vanished. Megan. Megan and Amy are the girls. The film was assembled using cell phone transmissions, computer files, home videos and public news reports. Okay. I hope this ain't too messed up. It's so f***ing stupid. Why would you want to go back? Like, Easter. At least then I wouldn't feel so wasted. That's April, isn't it, Easter? Like what, like some baby powder? Shut up. <laughs> Virgins don't know how to wear makeup. Oh, not very nice. I don't see what the big deal is anyway. Just f some guy and get it over with. I think you should wait for as long as you possibly can. Okay, Thursday, January the 4th, 2007. Megan Stewart. So these are just like children, 14. <laughs> you boots are so. Like you haven't. I've seen the stash you carry. Oh. Can't a person have a private conversation? <laughs> Come on, Maggie, there's no secret. He ain't 14. Oh dear. Shouldn't speak to your parents like that. <laughs> oh. I paid for it, I get to smash it! Oh. Wait, this guy is definitely not 14. He's not a child. Are you alright? Yeah, f cat fur makes me vomit. I told you, you have to keep him out of your bedroom at night. So she seems. I'll see you in school tomorrow. Yeah. Seems like a real sweetheart. So is, is Megan was on the right, yeah? She seems like a right, like the innocent sweetie one. We'll be right over. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. So the presumption is going to be that it's that guy, aren't we? are going to think that, aren't we? Well, oh, so she's Amy, the other girl's Megan. I've got them mixed up, my bad. Right, cool. Try not to grow up too fast, OK? Yeah, it's don't grow up too fast. The, the world is a cold, mean and horrible place. Be young as long as you can. Louise, your daughter just called me a jerk. That's right, you know. Always ganging up on defenseless men. <laughs> we'll talk about your present later, Francis. Okay. That would be me, him. I'm a proper walkover when it comes to things like that. But yeah, you've got to be young as long as you can, for real. Princess. Princess Pudgy. Oh, dear. Can I bring Aaron? Nope. No dudes. Why not? Because it's my party, it's my rules, that's why. So they're going to a party then? obeying the rules on your hands and knees. Oh my god. <laughs> now we all know you go with the flow. But Ben, I'm serious. Her birthday's coming up. So she seems like a nice friend though. You her, she got blackmail on you, what? <laughs> you bringing Amy along could take away that crown. Oh dear. You just make sure you take a bath. This is really weird, like, maybe I was like that as a kid. I can't think that I was though, like, we had a bit more respect for each other. Oh! My man Gideon, come on in, dog, freak. Yeah, Gideon, this is that guy in the video. He ain't 14, bro. No one rides for free, Gideon, you're sucking Oh, my God. So what is going on here? Is this just like a party? What's going on? Ah, uh, so it's for gear. No, I mean, we used to get out of it, but I had a better group of friends. A safer and, and just a good crowd. Megan is the one who goes missing, the girl with the dark hair, and Amy goes missing after. Yeah, exactly. I don't even know why she would go there in the first place, that girl. It's not her kind of place, is it? Before we know what happens, let this be a lesson. When you're this age, anyone who's watching this, if you're young, like 10 to 15, if you go out and do stupid things, make sure you're with a very, very, very trusted group of friends, not idiots. Like five or six of the other are like brothers and sisters, people you can trust. Oh, yeah. So she's out of her head. And gotta say, these are like 14, 13, 14. Flipping heck. This guy's an idiot, isn't he? Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this. 
Girl, you need to get the hell out of there, man. <laughs> this is making me uncomfortable, man. <laughs> you bitch. What the f Oh my god. Oh my god. Oi, this is messed up, bro. Oh my god. Oh god. This is making me feel extremely uncomfortable watching this. Like, we all do silly things when we're young, don't get me wrong, but... This is just very, very uncomfortable. So she's doing coke. This is nuts, man. Oh my God, bro. Oh, I swear, I'm not having kids. I'm not, I'm not having kids. Uh, she threw up on him. So stupid. No, you're not. I shouldn't have brought you there. Why would she even go to places like that? I don't know why you're friends with me. Well, because I she, am, that's why. She's like the only decent at... Uh, uh, the whole lot is the girl on the right, like just a, a kid, you know what I mean? You were 10 when you did it? Do you want to listen to this or not? This is effed up, man. Brad Pitt? No, the weird killer guy. Oh. <laughs> Kevin Spacey. <laughs> he puts his hand on top of my head and pushes me down to my knees in front of him. Oh dear. This, like... Oh, wow. This is just... He told me a couple times actually to get my teeth out of the way, but like... I understand, I understand like this kind of stuff happens, but like... It's just really uncomfortable to hear this, like at this age. And like, oh, I started coughing. And She's 10. So it's my mouth. Like, 10. Do you know what, I've got to say, yeah. I, I waited, you know, like there was opportunities in life when I was that age to do things and you could call me a square and old fashioned, but I waited till I was 18, you know, I had girlfriends and all that sort of stuff. I just waited because I just, I don't know, like I was brought up differently, maybe. I don't know. I don't know what I'd do without you. Well, you're my best friend too, Amy. No, like, we're watching this in just a film. So like, you know, when I'm seeing that she's talking about things and I'm thinking she's 10, like that's just fucked up, bro. Okay, let's do something, you know, like, not boring. <laughs> Why don't you strip? I'm not doing that. <laughs> yeah, that's right. We said not boring. Oh, shame. Why don't we do an interview? Like your life story. <laughs> oh, no. Do you want to not laugh, bitch? <laughs> <laughs> I live with my mom, who loves me very much. It's going to get serious, isn't it? My dad is somewhere. I don't know. See, it all starts somewhere, doesn't it? The effects of... Separated parents. You fucked me for the first time when I was nine. Oh my god. Ugh. My mom was so afraid of losing him that she wouldn't she wouldn't even listen to me when I told her about it. Oh, this is sick. She even blamed me when he got sent to prison. So that's that's why it's like that with her mum then. That is so sad. They're all so fucking pathetic. It is so sad. But it makes you think about the madness in the world, you know what I'm saying? Oh, That's really sweet, man. To show, well, it, it's a very, very difficult subject in all of this stuff, but yeah, I'm, I'm a bit afraid of where this is going, I'll be honest, I'm a bit scared. Maybe sometime you want to hang out again? Lex, I'm just not, like, comfortable. Yeah, what I'm happened not. Before? Oh, oh, oh. Um... Those two. He competes for real stuff. And oh, really? And he saw that I like skateboarding, and so he added me. <laughs> you don't skateboard. <laughs> I'm so glad my life weren't like this. I'm so lucky. Like, I'm so lucky. Nuh uh. Yeah. Oh, and my you, God. You like talk to him for like an hour. Like, to me, this is how kids should be, like this stuff. Go and stalk him. Yeah. <laughs> right. Um, I can't get my, uh, my head around all the other stuff. I, I can't get my head around it. Like, I see her. And I just think like my little cousins, you know, when they were small or my sister and when I see someone like that, I just think you should be playing with dolls. You should be going shopping with your friends, go to the cinema. Do you know what I mean? Have a girl's night in, pajama party. Shouldn't be doing all that other stuff, man. We live in an area called Sherman Oaks. You have no idea what I'm talking about. 
It's a very contrast of different lifestyle, ain't it, at the moment? You want to take me rushing around trying to get dinner ready. <laughs> She's probably crabby because she didn't sell a house today. Amy. Oh, got it. Yeah, so that it seems they've got very contrasting lives. Just see what I'm saying. He's Love actually cats. me, which makes him like a hundred in cat years. Love cats. That's my house. Thanks like for joining got, me on the she's tour. She's like got a normal, you know, as you, as far as normal can go. Happy family, it seems. Oh, Alden, so we live near each other. Yeah. Why do I get a feeling mm. skater dude ain't skater dude ain't a skater dude? Can you tilt your webcam down a little? Why? God, all guys are the same. I'm not putting on a show for you, freak. Oh my god. Don't worry about it. And then she's gonna do it because she just wants affection. Just see what I mean? It's fu it's sad. So your cam is broken, huh? Yeah, my. See, my camera's broken. He's not real. And then my dog took a swipe at it too. He's not real. At least you get to see what I look like. I already know what you look like. How? I don't think it's him. You're such a stalker. I am not. <laughs> oh, no. You're a cool chick. You should come tonight. We should hook up. Maybe. Oh, uh, this, this is just... Maybe. Yeah, of course she'll go, because she just wants affection and love. Bye, hot chick. Bye. Of course she's going. And it ain't even that guy, do you see what I mean? He's like some creep or something, you know what I mean? Oh. I was talking to this kind of cool guy and he's gonna be there, so I'll call you tomorrow. Yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. I'm glad Amy's at home and I know she's gonna go missing because it said so, but... I want to find a nice dress for my prom. So she's saying she's 13. I'm trying to think what I was doing at that age. I'm like, who's gonna ask me, right? Course boys would ask y'all. Of course young kids would ask, do you know what I mean? It's just, I know we all doubt ourselves, but 13, I was just playing like, um, <laughs> what do you call it, Super Nintendo, do you know what I'm saying, bruv? Sega, that was my life. I was just wondering how it went with that guy. Was he cool? There, fucking dork. He was there, but it weren't him. Well, she made it home, so that was good. Hey, hot chick. Oh, no. Jerk tells me to meet him at a party and then never shows up. Why would I be pissed? He was there watching her. Uh, well, you had on... Say. And you look so great. I mean... Oh, God. So, you watched me? <laughs> yeah, kind of creepy, huh? Oh, man. You're really popular. Say, he's winding her in, winding her in. This is... Sorry, I didn't talk to you last night. It's okay. It's all to just like, he's probably followed her home and all sorts, I don't know. I didn't know that many people and yeah. I felt weird. And... Yeah, I understand. She's been played bad. Why would I be jealous of that Damon? I don't know, you tell me. Didn't it show you just how easy it is to, you know? Maybe get some ice cream or something? Yes, I would. Sounds so sweet and innocent. Cool. I think it's, it's like he knows her. It's like he knows she's a damaged soul and he just is saying everything that she wants to hear. Really sensitive. What do you say? Well, we were talking about lots of stuff and... Uh... Oh, <laughs> there you are. <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. Hey, Megan, how's the movie? So this oh, is okay. Harry. Hey, who's that? Oh, just the girls are prettier. <laughs> and don't you forget it. Oh, God. I don't remember if she did. Yes, you do, bitch. <laughs> don't listen to her, Josh. <laughs> no, that's okay. Alarm bells. If anyone, if anyone does this and don't have a, a camera, they're lying. Never, ever speak to anyone. So you still want to meet up and do something? Sure. Where? So something's going to happen to her and her friend's going to be the only one to know about this guy. <sighs> I know how to deal with smart asses. Oh, and how is that? <laughs> Chain her up and probably chop, yeah, chop her head off. Oh, man. So, see you in like 20 minutes. Okay. 
So this is the last we're ever going to see of her. Oh my god. Oh, so uncomfortable, man. I was just wondering if you talked to Megan today. No, I haven't. Um, I'm kind of busy, so I'm going to go. So she's not at school. This is bad, this is bad, this is bad. Never ever trust anyone. Ever. I was supposed to get together last night, and uh, she never showed up. Yeah, you're, you're a liar, mate. If you hear from her, will you love me? Yeah, sure. Thanks, Josh. Bye. Bye. Oh, no. So he's going to track her down next because, yeah, she's the only one left. Somewhere, a mother cries out, oh, my God. child is missing. I don't even have kids, and it's terrifying. A straight A student who devotes oh, her spare dear, time oh, dear. to helping her community. Certain things that makes me feel uneasy is stuff with kids. I just want her to be brought back safe. Makes you think about that movie that's uh, been massive Megan this year, The, the Sound of Freedom. You know, with kids and that. Out of trace, police are asking for your help. I don't Megan think I'll be Stewart. watching a lot of films like this because it makes me feel so uneasy. Like, can't you tell? Like, I feel very uncomfortable watching this, even though it's just a film. Like, I don't like this sort of stuff. With more on the disappearance and search for Megan Stewart after these. So messages. there's more to it. So um, that guy hasn't got out of prison. I'm just put, ruling that out. This is it. The stepdad. So he's been ruled out. I don't think she ran away. That's what all the news people are saying. I don't think she did either. It's awful. I know she's alive. I can feel it. I hope you're right, mate. I really do. But I just... I don't feel as confident. Just one mile from where she lived. Savage abduction. Well, we're looking at all possibilities at the moment. Anyone with information... Is that didn't look savage. That just looked like a guy holding her arm and she walked along. It's just, I don't know. Mm. Mm. Don't like this, bro. So this is who the guy is, right? What? What? So he knew the camera was there because he didn't look at the camera. What are we? I don't know what, what I'm supposed to be seeing. What am I supposed to be seeing there? I wouldn't say it if it weren't true. But you don't think you're cute. Oh, man. I think maybe she skipped out with that guy before I got there. She wouldn't do that. She would have told me. It's him. <sighs> you don't seem like the kind of girl she would hang with. What do you mean? You know what I mean. Play on her weaknesses. Then you're stupid too. You believe anything, won't you? Ugh. And she's gonna go and meet him. Like to sleep with something beside your teddy bear? He's a piece of sh this guy. You are, how you follow her around like a little puppy. You're like a big joke to her. Is this the guy with the long hair? Nothing. You know the guy in the first one who hit her? Like earlier on, I forgot his name. Is it him with the guy with the long hair? I think it's him. This person's name. Name. You know I'm, sorry. Name. I'm sorry, but that information is vital to the young. They would be able to trace that though via the IP from her computer though, unless she's blocked it all. She's fing gone out on her own, bruv. Like, what are you doing? You know, it's because of you that she's not here, right? That's just dumb. That's just dumb. Stay the fk out of my face. That's just silly. That's just silly. That don't make any sense. She loved me. What? Because of you! What? She's a psychopath, this one. <laughs> Cuckoo. <laughs> I'd say she's a suspect. Nut job. So I keep him here and I can visit him whenever I want. Oh, sh. Oh, no. Oh, this experience is supposed to help me grow up. He's there, bruv. Oh, no. I'd just rather stay here with I don't. I don't like this. He's there watching her, look. Oh my God. It wouldn't surprise me if he followed her home. You have a big mouth. I didn't say you kidnapped Megan. You just said you think I did. He ain't very smart if he's contacting her again, do you know what I mean? I may have to pay you a visit, or your mom. Mm. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear of the original security camera footage. We must warn you Are we going to find this guy or what? 
So this guy grabs her. Yeah, but did we get to see like a, a car or anything? Did we get to see that or not? The brutal abduction of a beautiful young girl. We'll be right back. But how do they know they went to a car? Two photos of a girl later identified to be Megan were posted on a fetish website bulletin board. The owner of the website contacted the FBI because of the disturbing nature of the photos. So they're photos of her some, probably when something's happened to her. These photos have been previously released, never been previously released to the public. Oh, fuck. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I can see now why it got banned. This is messed up. But I think it's Spend important. It's important for films like this to, to get out there. I do. Because it shows you how messed up the world is. It's really hard to get volunteers. Oh dear, oh dear. Your teddy's gone because he knows. And there he is. Are the girls the victims of the same kidnapper or have they simply run away together? Oh God. Please tell me to get the guy. And hopefully I'll make whoever took her, you know, feel bad and let her go. It shows you how two-faced people are. Following is a short piece of news footage not shown. What? Amy Herman's video camera was found in a trash container near the Angeles. Oh, near the Angeles National Forest, so her camera was found in there. Right, okay. Also, it might have some stuff on it. It might have his face on it, maybe. He wouldn't have been that stupid, surely. Maybe he was that stupid, I don't know. Footage of a man believed to be just found on Amy Herman's video camera, see? No idea who this is. Following are the final 22 minutes of footage from Amy Herman's camera, unedited and unaltered. 22 minutes? Uh, oh no. <laughs> Oh no. Oh my god. No! This is so messed up. Josh, where are you going? You're crazy! Like his name's Josh. His name ain't Josh. No! Oh my god. No! Harry! So he's got to ha have a lot of money to have a place like this. It's like it's under a dungeon or some shit. You know what I'm saying? Somebody! Please get him me! I don't know. That container's for her, isn't it? That's making me feel uneasy t totally. I know. Jeffrey Dahmer stuff, do you know what I'm saying? Oh my god. Oh. This guy is so sick, man. That's her friend. That's her friend that she's eating. Oh, this is so uncomfortable, man. Oh, I'd love to meet a guy like this. I'd love to meet him. Why? I would go, I'd eat his face. <laughs> Honestly, I would. I'd go from being uncomfortable to a... Yeah? Oh, my God. Her hand can reach that through the thing. She's only got little hands. It's the same bloody thing, isn't it? It's the same contraption that her friend was in. So now we're just going to see her getting tortured, aren't we? No! No! Oh, this is so effed up. Oh, my God. 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 This is f***ed up, man. <laughs> I'd kill him. I'd kill him. I'd f***ing kill him. <laughs> this is so, so disgusting. Now, this is why it was banned. This. I can't believe that this is in a film. But it just shows you, don't it, how sick the world is. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, I feel sick. I can't believe that that was filmed. Brilliant actress, little actress, but my god, I can't... Oh.
The emotions I felt from that, like I felt like crying, I felt angry, I want to kill him. And then I'm like, right, it's just a film, but it makes you, you know, think about the world and the crazy sick stuff that happens. Oh, I don't like it, man. I don't... That's, that's definitely one of the most disturbing things I've seen on the channel since I've started. Like, I was going to say the Poughkeepsie takes is worse than this, but that was worse. Your and daddy? Now he's gonna kill her. He's gonna strangle her. Oh my god. I knew it. I knew it all along. I knew that as soon as I saw it. That is sickening. What the f bro? Like that is just so sick. That is so sickening. That is so sickening. This film is fed up, bro. They're not gonna find him, are they? He's gonna bury him like that. He's just gonna get away with it. He's just gonna dig a hole, bury him, and go. This is so fucking sick. This is just... They're not going to catch him, are they? He's going to get away with it. He's just going to bury her and it's just going to end. I already know. What do you want me to do? It's not going to make any difference. He's just going to keep digging, 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 push it in, bury it over, end of the film. <laughs> please, please find them, please. Police have got to turn up now, please. <laughs> this ain't horror, this is like, it's just like sick, it's just sick. This ain't horror, it's just sick. Like I like messed up movies, do you know what I'm saying? But this is more like a snuff film, it's just fucking sick, bruv. I don't like this, bruv. <laughs> However, I think this is a good film for parents to watch. Genuinely, don't take your eyes off your kids and fucking be very, very wary of what they're looking at and, and who they're speaking to online. Like, I can't believe that they're just dragging this out and dragging it out. It's just like... <laughs> the director's fucked up who made this, man. He's got problems. He's got problems. Whoever directed this has got problems, man. It's making me angry more than anything. Like, it's just making me angry. The time this is taking, what, 10 minutes of him digging a f***ing hole? It's just making me angry. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. So, like, the literally the last 20 minutes of the movie is him digging a f***ing hole. Like, really? Really? Like... I'm, I'm that close to turning it off. Honestly, I am. Because it's just like, at this point, it's just f***ing sick. Do you know what I mean? You made your point, but at this point, it's just sick. I just love you. Then she goes to the end of the movie. I won't love you as much as me. Bye. Push her in. End of movie. Please. I can't be watching this shit, bro. Like, this is fucked up, bro. No. It's just making me angry, bro. Like, this ain't a horror movie. This is like someone's sick fantasy. The director, yeah? Whoever made this, yeah? You're a fucking dickhead, bruv. Like, you're fucked up in the head, bro. I'm gonna, like, tweet the fucking director and tell him he's a fucking dickhead, man. He's, like, fucked up in the head. Like, making a point of something is one thing, but this is like a sadistic fetish, fetishing, fetishizing this type of thing. You don't need to show someone being murdered for 20 minutes, bro, unless you've got a problem in your head. Like, there's, there's no point in that. Like, that's just fucked up. And we're not even gonna find out who it is, and the police ain't gonna blow his fucking head off. I'm fuming, bruv. I'm so angry. Because it's not normal, bruv. Like, horror films, yeah, are supposed to be like the good, go good guy, the bad guy. It's a bit sick, it's a bit twisted. I'm into sick stuff. This is like... It's like showing a prolonged assault of a woman for, like, 45 minutes, like, just beating her and beating her and beating her. 
There is nothing to gain by that, by, by filming that. And that's what they're, all they're doing is here, is for the last 20 odd, 25 minutes, it's just this, burying someone alive in a barrel. It's fucking sick. Oh, really sick film, sick, sick, sick film. Just nothing to have gained from the last 25 minutes other than, than the director, Michael Goy. Bro, you're fucked up, mate. I don't learn, right? Yeah, I learn just fine. I learned I'm to angry, you. bro. I'm so angry. I can't even watch no more because it's fucking sick. You're crazy. You're crazy. Right, so we're going to get to our review of Megan is Missing. The guy who directed this, Michael Goy, you're a fucking mug. Like, you're a dickhead, bruv. Because I understand when you're making a horror movie, I like sick movies, do you know what I'm saying? I love a good horror movie and I love, like Poughkeepsie Tapes was, was banned because it was a bit graphic. But there's a limit, do you understand? I watched Driller Killer when I was about 15, 16. Like they're sadistic movies, but there's a limit. This was, this was a fantasy of, of someone like Michael Goy. Like, this isn't fucking normal. Like, if you want to demonstrate to the general public that it's unsafe to let your children speak to strangers online, fantastic. All the way through it, I thought this is a brilliant, I thought this is brilliant because it shows you how crazy, there's crazy people out there. We all know there's crazy people out there. But the last 25 minutes was just fucking sadistic for the sake of being sadistic. That wasn't proving anything. That wasn't making a point of anything. That was someone who wanted to film something like that for his own personal fucking gratification. Michael Goy, you're fucked up, bruv. There's red flags around this guy. In my opinion, bro, you've got problems and you should be fucking checked out because it's not normal. If I was to make a movie that was about a woman being abused and assaulted, yeah, I get it. You can make a point show what it's about, make it grotesque and go, oh my God, that's disturbing, makes you think about it. I watched Poughkeepsie tapes, like I said, I spoke to my sister afterwards, I'm like, look, you need to be more careful when you're out, be wary of people, be vigilant of people. Just things in life, that taught me something, do you know what I'm saying? This just made me feel angry. Like at the end of this movie, I feel fucking angry that the director was sick enough to just say, yeah, just, just film it all the way through and let's just film it and just keep filming it. Like, you're fucked up, bro. So, personally, I think this is probably like a 1 out of 10. I'll give this movie a 1 out of 10 because I'm angry. Like, I'm really, really fucking angry about this film. This didn't prove nothing to me. All it was, a sadistic way of showing how girls can get abused and then you can kill them, bury them in a fucking barrel and then just walk off and leave it open like that. Just, it's done. Yeah, got away with it. Doesn't prove nothing. Just proves you're fucked up, bro. Megan is missing is a pile of shit. I don't like it. I don't like the director, Michael Goyer. I'm going to find him online and I'm going to abuse that motherfucker and just say he, he needs to be checked the fuck out. He needs to be checked the fuck out. I don't know what to say. Thank you for watching. I'm so sorry about my language. As you know, I do not do reviews like this and I do not react like this. My reactions and my emotions never come out. This left me angry. Fuck you, Michael Goyer, and fuck this movie. Peace and love.